Hello, today we are going to talk about the subject that I make and let's first of all have a look at this lovely Hawothria because it needs reporting. You will see in a moment that there is a small her baby coming out at the bottom of the pot. Just in case that I need to cut the pot to take it out, I prepared the scissors so let's uh, see how I'm getting on with it. Um, the pot, the potting mix that it's currently in is my own. Well, luckily it came out really uh, easily. And as you can see, even now, uh, this uh, mix is coming away quite uh, nicely. Later on, I will show you what I use to make my own uh, potting mix uh, to make sure that uh, the sus substrate is well draining and airy. As you can see, the soil uh, came off really easily. There's nothing really sticking around uh, the roots. So I just need to trim a bit uh, those roots and they will be good. it will be good to put it up. This lovely cactus, is it parodia or not a cactus? Let me know down in the comment box. So I bought it um, in a shop. So as you could see, um, the roots were already coming out of the pot. So why you should report um, or change the soil after buying a cactus? Well, first of all, as you can see, it's not as airy and free draining. Uh, I need to pull a bit uh, to clean the roots off. Also, it gives you a chance to check if the roots are healthy, if there are no pests. And you can see even here, there's still some clumps uh, surrounding the roots, so it's not uh, freely uh, draining. And this is how, uh, after a while, I uh, managed to clean. Some people even uh, rinse the roots and then wait until they dry off before uh, putting them in the soil. And in comparison, the Haworthia, which was in my own uh, mix. Remember that after uh, reporting, you shouldn't water cactus for at least a week. Uh, just in case if there was a damage caused to the roots and that way you will avoid a root rot. Let's talk about how I make uh, my own potting mix. It's ready-made cactus and succulent mix. It should contain, according to the manufacturer, a grit, sand, a choir and fine bark. So this is what it looks like. So we'll going to test. Uh, normally I use John Inns number two but I couldn't get it this time around and even with ready-made mix I always add some perlite and some grit anyway to make it even more free draining. This is perlite it's a non-toxic natural vol volcanic rock and it improves drainage and aeration. This is what it looks like. Here you can see for the cultural potting grid, it allows the excessive water to freely drain away and prevents compost to stick together. So it's a quite funny, fine grid. The ingredient is lava rock, which again helps drainage. My mix is based on Factimania potting mix. The link is down below in the description box. I also have pumice, but as you can see, it's, they are quite big lumps. So I usually use with my uh, lithops. Four parts of each component, and then I mix them together. So as you can see, it's quite a gritty mix. So this one is my mix. Draining really fast. And the last one, this is a ready-made cacti, cacti and succulent mix. And let's see. You see, it's not as fast draining and my own mix.
That's why I always uh, add some perlite and grit as well. I hope you find it useful and informative, so please give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel or comment down below. Thank you, bye!